Hello everybody. In this video, I will show you how to install the same tools that we were going to need for our development environment in a Mac computer. In reality, it's going to be also three tools. The difference is going to be about the package manager. So we need to install a package manager. It's the one to actually help us to do the other two installations. And we are going to install Python 3 and we are going to install Visual Studio Code. Python 3 is the version of Python, the programming language that we are going to use for the semester. And Visual Studio Code is a text editor that will help us to write our code. Is where we actually going to write it. And then they have a terminal integrated. With a terminal, we can actually compile and see the results of the different programs that we are going to do during the semester. So first of all, we need to open our browser and we need to go to brew.sh and we open the website of Homebrew. Homebrew is a packet manager for macOS. How we need to install it? We need to copy and paste this line in our terminal. So we just select it, right click, copy. And then we need to open the terminal. How can we open the terminal? It's going to be actually really simple. If we click the command spacebar, we will have our spotlight open where we can actually look for terminal. So we can start the terminal and we can open it. Another way to open the terminal through the spotlight, we can hit it command the spacebar or we can actually hit the little magnified glass that we saw in the in the bar and a spoiler will open we need to specify terminal and it's going to be open again now my terminal is a little bit different probably than yours I have personal uh, team a way to show information so it's probably that your terminal doesn't have this time and it's probably that your terminal doesn't have this format layout other on the left. That actually doesn't matter. What is important is that we can start writing our commands in the section. For this video, I will use another thing called Hyper, but it's pretty much a terminal emulator. I'm going to use that one because I believe it's more legible for the video with a bigger uh, phone so everybody can see actually what I'm going to type in. So we need to remember, select, copy, and open terminal. In order to paste it, we the command view, and the code will be pasted there. We just hit enter. The following new directive will be created, and press return to continue or any other key to abort. So we just need to press return. Then we'll ask for a password. We type it. You will not see any moment there. No problem with that. The password is actually going to be saved. So we just click enter and the installation continue. So it doesn't matter. You need to type your password careful and hit enter and it will work. You will not see it, but the terminal will take it. Meanwhile, we are still waiting. Okay, now that Brio is already installed, we can verify if we can see it. So we just click Brio, enter. And if we see the example how to use it, that means that Brio was correctly installed in our computer, my computer. Now we'll proceed to install Python. And before I install it, I want to say something really important. It's probably that you already have Python installed in your Mac computer, but the version that we have is actually Python 2. We need to have Python 3. We cannot uninstall the version 2 because it came with the operating system with the Mac, so we need to leave that one there. So what we are going to do is just install version 3 and we'll have both versions installed in the computer. That's why we need Homebrew 
because Brew will help us actually have both versions of Python installed and working without conflict. How we do that? With the Brew command. So we just click Brew, install Python. And that's why I believe in order to say yes by default is something you need to be asked for us. And we click enter. And we wait again. Excellent. That means the Python is already installed in a computer. But there is something extra or something important. The command actually is Python 3. In the Windows computer, the command that we are going to use to execute something is Python. In a Mac, it is going to be Python 3. Just to have it there. So if we do Python 3 dash dash version, we see that Python is already installed. Perfect. Now we need to install Visual Studio Code. How we do that? We actually do that with Homebrew again. So we do brew, cask, install, visual, dash, studio, dash, code. Again, was J in order to say that we wanted to install it and click enter. And we wait again. Oh, there is a problem actually where it was way uh, that's way, so let's remove it. Visual Studio Code is actually installed and is where it's supposed to be. How can we actually open it? Well, we open it looking at in Spotlight. So we open Spotlight again. We click Code. And we open Visual Studio Code. The version that you will have actually is the one with the blue icon. I already have another version, version insiders. You will not have or you will not see this one. You will see the Visual Studio Code traditional. So let's just open it. In that case open the acknowledgement that it was a software downloaded to, from the internet, we just say yes, we trusted the software and we open the software. Um, BCS to the code just got installed. Excellent. The first step that we need to do is actually the same steps that need to happen in a Windows computer. We click on the left side in the last button in the, in the left bar it's called extensions and we look for Python. Probably we are going to see it on the list. If not, we just need to type it in the search bar and we'll see the extension there. In order to install it we just click the install button the bar or in the extension um, main page. This extension will help us in order to Visual Studio Code to understand Python and give you the, the exact syntax or help us a little bit with this. When it's finished, we just click reload. 
and enable, we see that Python is already there. Perfect. We go to the Explorer view. We can actually open a folder from here. In that case, I have a project folder. Or we can actually just go to the terminal, new terminal. So what we're going to do is want to create a file, new file. And let's go save this file as Let's open my temporal folder and my file was called hi.py. It is important the extension that we always going to be using is py. And we save it. In a Mac computer, will ask us about um, the Python interpreter that we want to use. Why? because we have Python 2 installed by the system and, it's, and we have Python 3 installed by Homebrew. What we need to do, because by default Python 2 is selected, we need actually change it. So we click select Python interpreter and we select Python 3. I have several installations in there. Probably you will have only one, so you select one of those ones and that's it. When we have Python 3 enabled, we are good to go. Who can actually test it? Let's do our first line. We write down in the document print, open parentheses, open double quotes, and hello there. We save the document with command S or with file save. Now we, I know that my document is in my projects temporal folder and it's called hi. In order to execute, we need to do Python 3 hi.py. That we're saying Python, please execute or interpret my program called hi.py. We click enter. And we see hello there. That's it. That means that Python is working and is installed correctly in our computer.